camping and it's dusk. As you gather firewood, one of the sticks moves. It's not a stick, it's a deadly black mamba. The snake raises its head more than one meter off the ground. It strikes like lightning, attacking you again and again, then slithers away. What could you do to survive? Here's how to survive a black mamba attack. The black mamba, AKA Kobe Bryant, stood at a height of, wait, that's the wrong black mamba. Found throughout eastern and southern regions of Africa, the black mamba snake is one of the most feared, most deadly snakes in the world. And it may try to intimidate you by extending its neck flaps. At full speed, a black mamba can travel at 19 kilometers per hour. That's faster than most people can run. They're also the longest venomous snake in Africa and the second longest in the world, averaging 2.4 meters long. But they have grown up to 4.3 meters. If you want to survive your trip to Africa, you might be wondering about a few things. Do these snakes hang out alone or travel in groups? And how fast can you die from a black mamba's venom? In 2017, a black mamba knotted itself around a Kenya woman's leg. As she tried to get it off, it bit her three times. She passed out before arriving at the nearest hospital. It was 45 minutes away. Luckily, the medical staff had anti-venom and it saved her life. But what could you do to increase your chance of surviving a black mamba attack? Step one, dress for success. Just two drops of black mamba venom could kill you in a little as 20 minutes. If you'll be walking through bush or long grass, a black mamba snake could be there too. Wearing thick long clothes such as pants, a shirt, and a jacket could help protect you. Wearing hiking or work boots would help protect your feet and ankles. Step two, practice social distancing. Black mambas are territorial, so don't go looking for a fight. If you see or hear one, leave it alone. Do not go near the snake. And if it tries to escape, let it. If it feels cornered, you'll face its wrath. And if you see one that looks dead, leave it alone too. Some snakes play dead to lure their prey. Step three, know their hiding places. These fearsome killers are surprisingly shy. They like places where they can hide, rest, and not be disturbed. This includes lazing under rocks, inside dead tree stumps, and under logs. They also like caves and empty termite mounds, but they hunt during the day, so watch out. Step four, don't be fooled by their name. The inside of their mouths are blue-black, but the black mamba's body is a brownish color, ranging from olive to grayish tones with paler bellies. Step five, control your breath. You were so busy watching for one snake that you didn't see the others. Although they're usually loners, you might encounter two or a small group of black mambas. This is hard, but if it bites you, staying calm can help you stay alive. You'll want your breathing and heart rate to be as slow as possible to slow the venom spread through your body. If a black mamba bites someone else, help keep their breathing stable as well. Remove any clothing, rings, necklaces, and any other objects that could constrict their breathing. Step six, get anti-venom. Within 20 minutes, toxins start acting on the nervous and cardiovascular systems. You might pass out or become paralyzed. And without anti-venom, you're guaranteed to die. Scientists have developed an anti-venom that counteracts the 10 most venomous snakes in Africa. It has to be injected in your veins because muscles don't absorb it well. It's important not to inject it into or around the bite site, and you may need equipment to help you breathe while the anti-venom takes effect. Phew, you're lucky. Friends got you to a hospital and they had the anti-venom. And over time, the anti-venom will ease your muscle paralysis. You're going to live. And even though black mamba snakes are big, other reptiles are much, much bigger. Could you survive an encounter with a crocodile? Well, death roll over and watch how to survive a crocodile attack right here on How to Survive.